I'm just a girl. I should have known at that point there was going to be an issue. Hey boo, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Bearfish Shawty, Puffed Up Shawty. I am going to be doing, is this a maintenance vlog? Well, I'm my anniversary is coming up, child. And I'm trying to get everything together. I'm trying to get these nails together. I'm trying to get this hair together. And I want to take you guys along on the journey. So if you guys don't know, this will be my one year anniversary of being married. And I love it over here. I love it over here. I am the whole thing. You know how they talk about getting ready for the trip is just as bad as the trip that's what i'm feeling like because i'm like why do i have to have a whole day to get all these things done meanwhile all he got to do is just go get a haircut and maybe go to the mall get an outfit he's done we haven't even talked about clothes yet i don't know what i'm wearing so you guys are going to follow me along the journey as i figure all that stuff out because i'm just a girl i'm just I'm just a girl trying to do the things, trying to check the boxes, trying to keep it together. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, I am excited, though. I am excited to celebrate, to, you know, do some self-care. I'm a little early, so that's a first for me. Why my bad bitch? I'm pretty than a motherfucker. Hoss me looking okay. Yeah. She yeah. she fucking with me. Is this bitch okay? <laughs> South bad bitches, screech shit, so ratchet. Call me JT, aka the soul snatcher. Okay. I'm with a booster, scholar, and a pole dancer. Pussy nigga, call my phone, he won't get no answer. Nah. Fuck these niggas, fuck them. And fuck these hoes who you can't fuck with me. Fuck what a bitch told okay. you. Sexy black motherfucker. Yeah. He came on the wood, I'm watching Jimmy Butler. Bitch. Since I came home, I've been killing every summer. That real boss bitch, and I started as a runner. My titties sent pretty, and I'm looking like a snack. 40 inch bust down, we know that bitch black. I'm pretty than a motherfucker. Hush me looking okay. She think that she fucking with me. Is this bitch okay? He said he ain't fucking around. Not disturb, bitch, I'm with my nigga Okay, stout name, say in it's for my nigga Bitch, say she pregnant, it ain't for my nigga I don't pay for shit, it's all So I went nigga. with just a, what we call it, a natural clear And in true business fashion My girl did try to upsell me, which I get it, I get it But I did wish I would have got, uh, she got a new chrome color what she call it? Uh, I don't know what kind of chrome it was. But the last time the chrome, she had to put the black for the chrome to show good. But this time she got, she got, she updated her chrome. She got this chrome where you could just put it over top of the nail and it gives like a little shimmer. And I could have sworn, I had to look back at my notes. I could have sworn last time I was charged. Well, yeah, we did determine I was charged per nail but she updated her policy and it would have been six dollars three plus five no eight dollars for all ten nails and i was like that's why you gotta read these folks policy because all the policies aren't giving you 
aren't increasing prices, some of the policy may be an adjustment of a price, right? So I was like, dang, I wish I would have known that I would have got that because that was really cute. But I said, don't worry about it. I'm going to get it next time because I really like that. I like a pinkish um, cotton candy looking nail. I don't know. Something about that. Well, all right. We're going to go ahead and go to our next appointment. I'll see you later. Hey boo, so we are prepping for my one year anniversary and I have a bit of a story time because this right here, this was supposed to have been done yesterday. I even had to record a video with this untamed hair. But <clears throat> I made an appointment on Friday with a hair, a new hair braiding place top braider I believe here in Charlotte North Carolina so this girl I know she told me about it and she was like the girls are getting their hair braided here now they're not going to Ebenezer blah 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 blah, blah. I said okay bet I want to go where the girls go call I should have known at that point there was going to be an issue she said what would you like I said I would like the butterfly cornrows with five braids instead of the no with six braids instead of the four braids that's on your Instagram. So they already did this before. Somebody over there that did this because I saw it on the Instagram. It looked pretty cute. Um, but the ends were loose. So we was like braided all the way down and um, we want six instead of the four because I got a big head. And she's like, okay, send me the picture. That's how I knew. That's how I knew that we might have a problem because it's on your Instagram. And we like, it's on the Instagram. She said, oh, we don't run our own Instagram. And then I was like, oh, okay. So you have a social media manager. Cool, cool. All right. So we send the picture to the cell phone, made an appointment for Sunday at three o'clock because I already knew on Monday I had to work out. I had to get up with my workout group and I was like well I'm not going to even try to do it on Monday let's just get nails done hair done all in the same day get it over with boom bam we make the appointment she's like I'm gonna call you back and I'm gonna let you know who's going to be doing your hair and I said okay didn't get a call back didn't get a text back none of that and so I was like okay you know she's constantly she kept saying i'm braiding hair now i'm braiding hair now i said okay so she's working to try to man the phones at the same time cool i get it so i said well i'm just going to show up at my appointment time and um you know because she didn't say that i didn't have an appointment that i made an appointment she was going to let me know who exactly was going to be doing it walk in it was a room two rooms Full of people getting their hair braided. Mostly, no, everybody was getting like individual uh, boho or uh, Senegalese, like those type things. So I was like, hi, I'm here. I talked to, who did I talk to on the phone? Everybody looking at me like, I got three heads. I'm like, I'm here. I have an appointment at three o'clock. And they talking amongst each other in French. So I did not understand what they were saying. And the girl, she says, well, Blondie can do your hair. But she just, she she says, can you come back later? And I'm looking like, later? This place is like 20, 25 minutes from my house. I'm like, is there not anyone else here that can do this style? And she's like, no, she's the only one that can do it. Everybody else is at church. I get it. I get it. It's the Lord's day. So she says, can you come back? So I talked to Blondie. Blondie says, come back at five o'clock. Okay. I can go home, you know, get some stuff done, eat dinner or eat lunch and come back at four 30. I'm coming back at four 30, not five o'clock. Cause I said, Hey Blondie, my name is Denisha. I have an appointment. She said, yes, yes, you have an appointment. I said, okay, because I don't want to come back. And you got somebody else in the chair, you know, trying to get that money real quick or whatever. She said, no, you got an appointment. So I leave my house at 4.15. I was going to get there a little after 4.30. I get a call at 4.30. Hi. Oh, my God. Um, She says, can you come back tomorrow? Tomorrow. She's going to give you a discount. And so I was like, okay, discount. I'm not happy about this because I'm like, am I really going to get my hair done today? And so now I'm looking like a lie. Like I'm really not out here trying to get my hair done, but I really am. I really am. Fingers crossed y'all pray for me. 
I got my good luck Starbies. We got our hazelnut shaken espresso. Real good. So hopefully this will be the good luck that I need. So fingers crossed. Let's go get our hair done. So we're back. Hair is done. We have not a butterfly court, not a butterfly corn roll boho situation. We just have a corn row butterfly. No, we just have a corn row boho situation. I'm not exactly mad at it. As with any hairstyle, I do have to go in and do my little tweaks and stuff like this right here, girl. These is short, this is long. Did we? But it's a good base to work with and working with, I will be doing. So now, prepping for our anniversary, which is tomorrow, September the 3rd, I need to find an outfit first. In the words of Alicia B. Getty, we're gonna shop our closet, okay? So come with me as I try on some little situations. Now for tomorrow, our dinner, so if I didn't go down the list of what we're doing for our anniversary, we are we have dinner reservations tomorrow and um, on friday we are going to a wine vineyard so tomorrow is pretty just low-key we just want to do something to celebrate us but friday is really like the the thing with the pictures and the um celebrating and all those things so here we go we gotta find an outfit though girls I know, I think I know what I'm gonna to wear tomorrow, so I'll try that on as well. But this weekend, Friday, that's where I'm gonna need y'all help. Okay? So what you get? I got a uh, a spa finder gift card. Yeah. Okay, what's your card say? Chris, today we celebrate the best decision you ever made. I can't promise that I will be the perfect wife, but I promise to love and care for you until my final breath. Bay, I love you. You are my everything. Ooh! Happy anniversary to the only person who knows the real me and married me anyway. Okay, so my card says to my wife on our anniversary. I wonder if you really know what a wonderful woman you are. I've told you far less 
often that I should. <laughs> it's hard to find the words to say all the things you deserve to hear. If I could say them perfectly, I would. I'd tell you just how much it means to be given the gift of your love and how that love has changed me for the better. I'd say it takes a wife like you to reveal the soul of a man if he can open up enough to let her in. It may be that there are no words to thank you for all that you've done to support me and create the life we share, but you should but you should ever feel but should you ever feel unsure of the love I have for you, just look into my eyes and you'll find it there. Oh, that's so cute. A year down and the rest of our lives to go. Your husband. This, you didn't read the, the cover of your card. Oh. My best friend, my wife, my forever love. Oh. Okay, so you've been um doing a lot of filming on your phone and it's been kind of hard and complicated. So, you don't have to do that anymore. Do you have this now? <laughs> You my everything. I'm your main bitch for the wedding ring. We both in fast cars and we're switching lanes when I'm away from you. Really a pharmacy, and this space is rumored to have been a speakeasy during the Prohibition era. That's some of the inspiration for our vibe, as well as our craft cocktails, which you'll find on the iPad here. There are over 40 listed here. They're all made from scratch when you order with fresh ingredients. None of our spirits come to us free flavor, so for that reason, we ask that you allow our bartenders a grace period as they work their craft. But I do have some drinks that are a little more readily available. The first of those is going to be the East Village. This falls on the spirit forward side of things. It's kind of a take on a black Manhattan with a little more depth, complexity, and a touch of bitterness to it. Alternatively, on the juicier side of things, a little sweet, but still boozy. We have the Tiki Punch. It comes in this cute little single serving glass. It's kind of a take on a rum punch. A beer, wine, and uh, our craft cocktails can all be found on here, so it can get a little overwhelming. If you want to kind of narrow down your choices, you can do so by using this feature here to kind of uh, bookmark and revisit for later. So there's a lot to explore. Um, if you are planning on drinking, if you could just have your IDs out and ready for me when I get back, and then we'll walk to the dinner. Opening the top part of our cake from our wedding a year ago. Why are you doing it? I think it's some kind of tradition. Am I taking a flower? What's happening? Yeah, you gotta get to the cake. I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> Is it in the cake in there? Yeah, it's cake in there. Okay. It's freezer burn. I can smell it. You can smell freezer burn? Yes. Well, it's bad luck if we don't eat it. Get a little piece. 
It's not even defrost still. You can't bite it? Touch that. Bite it. I'm not biting that. I'm gonna eat this cake because I want my marriage to last. <laughs> you gonna get sick. Here we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my God. Going straight to the hospital. Well, I took one for the team. I don't know. Both of us got to eat it, though. So, come over here. Oh, you ate it for both of us. Camera, they gonna think you're lying. <laughs> Who's they? The YouTubers. I don't want to be on YouTube. Just your mouth. Ah, <laughs> uh -uh, put it in there. Just do it. See? It's for the parents. That thing is so frostbitten. Tossie, you can't smell frostbitten. Dad, I'll play about you. No. You got my head